pop quiz. What do you think when someone says to you, Sega? Most people think of that adorable blue hedgehog, but you know, and blue hedgehog saving animals and big happy environmental messages saying look after your planet and stuff like that. Well, yeah, Sega weren't always that environmentally cautious, so to speak. I'm going to show you a game today that shows that, well, back in the 80s, Sega were very, very un-PC. Today we take a look at Tranquilizer Gun. First of all, I'd like to apologise for using the main version in this review. Um, there are two home versions that you can get, what well, I know of, I know there's probably more. Uh, Dynamite Cop on the Dreamcast had this as a mini game, but my Dreamcast is broken. And there's the Sega Ages collection with this thing on, and it even has the new version of this game which is fucking awesome, but my PST is broken, so basically I'm a bit boned, so I have to use the soundless main version. Okay, so you're only missing sound effects, but still, I've taken the liberty of livening things up a bit by adding Twinkle Star Sprite's background music into this review, so I hope you guys enjoy that, and hope you don't find it too distracting. So then, Tranquilizer Gun released by Sega in 1980. Um, it was literally released one month after Puckman, what we know as Pac-Man over here in the West. And um, unlike a lot of the Pac-Man clones, or a lot of the games in that era in general actually, this is highly original and very fun to play. So please don't just write this off as another Pac-Man clone, because it's not. Anyway, um, well, let's just say that you quite possibly play one of the first playable villains in video gaming history. Fuck Dungeon Keeper or, like, you know, Grand Theft Auto 4. This guy with his bright blue truck and his budgy yellow outfit is a complete villainous badass. He goes around hunting endangered species, then dragging him off to his track. For all you know, he could be shipping these bastards off to Dr. Robotnik to turn it into robotic animals or some shit. We don't know. So basically, yeah, you're this big game hunter and you go around sedating animals with your tranquilizer gun. As soon as you do that, you have to drag them all the way back to your truck without getting touched by the other animals or without the, the animal in question that you've just tranquilized waking up. So yeah. Um, there's actually quite a lot of strategy to this game. Also, uh, you can actually position your truck by getting in it and driving it around, but that wastes fuel. You run out of fuel, basically you lose a life. Oh yeah, and the bigger the animal, the more shots they're going to take. So, you know, if you see an elephant, basically it's not going to go down without a fight. But they're going to be worth a lot more points to you. So, ideally you want to try and hunt them more bigger animals as opposed to the snakes and the gorillas. While this may sound really easy to just run up, shoot an animal and capture it, it's not. You can't shoot while you're dragging an animal because your hands are occupied. Furthermore, animals pop out of their hedges at random, just look at them. This is like randomly popping out anyway, you can get attacked from all sides. And sometimes even the animals gang up on you, they will literally just like come at you from two different angles and you're fucked, basically. Um, while this game may seem a bit random, it's a very, very enjoyable game. It happens to be a very frantic, but also very tense game, because you have absolutely no idea where these animals are coming from, and when you're running away and dodging from animals while dragging one of their sedated comrades to your bright blue truck, you know... It, the game is a very, very enjoyable experience. Uh, it happens to be one of my favourite games that Sega have ever put out and it's also one of my favourite games from this era. It's very very overlooked, in fact most of Sega's older titles are. Most people tend to focus on their Mega Drive and their Dreamcast games, but in fact, you know, they did make some really good classic arcade era titles. Tranquilizer Gun is one of those. So there you have it, Tranquilizer Gun. A dark corner in Sega's history. No, I'm not going to rant about the ethics of how killing animals for trophy is bad or anything, because 
You know, I'd be a massive hypocrite. I mean, I play games about shooting, stabbing people all the time. I don't believe that's right, but I still enjoy playing Saints Row 2. Um, so yeah, on that weird bombshell, um, I guess I'd best bid you guys adieu. It's been Danny. I'll see you guys later. Bye.